We have some exciting news to talk about today, guys. On the mobile app, the YouTube mobile app, you can now live stream to your YouTube channel straight from your phone. I am going to show you guys exactly how to do this as well as give you a few tips to make your live streaming experience the best possible for both you and your viewers. That's coming up. Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer and welcome to Video Creators. This channel is all about helping you guys grow your YouTube audience so you can spread a message that reaches people and impacts their lives. And one of the ways you can impact their lives now is through live streaming. How awesome is that? So I'm right here on my phone and I'm going to actually go live and show you guys all the behind the scenes of how it works and as well as give you a few tips here. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to swipe up here on my phone and I'm going to go into airplane mode and the reason for that is you don't want any phone calls or anything coming and interrupting it. But you still do want to get like Wi-Fi access, right? So I'm going to go airplane mode and, and enable Wi-Fi. Or if you're on Android, just put it in do not, do not disturb mode or something like that. Okay. So now that that's set, I'm not going to get phone calls interrupting it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and open up the YouTube app. And right at the top of the app, there is now a new option of this little record, this little record thing at the top. I'm going to tap that. And it used to be only the record option was there. But now you can also hit this go live button, as you see right there. So that's what I'm going to tap. Now, this is only limited to people with, um, with two creators with 10,000 subscribers or more. And the reason for that is because, you know, YouTube wants their live streaming platform to get pretty good press right when they, when they launch it here. And so, you know, how do you do that? Well, you give it to channels that one, have a decent audience that people will show up for, for a live stream. And then two, you give it to people who have invested significantly into growing an audience on their channel and that's kind of like an indication that they're not going to live stream um, copyrighted material they're not going to stream things that violates the community guidelines and, and things like that so it's a little bit safer and gives everyone more positive experience give them more positive press that type of thing but it is it will roll out for everyone okay so um here's the first thing you're going to come to and there's a couple options here first of all the gear at the top gives you you know you can add a description You can turn chat on and off. I'm going to leave that. If it's age restricted, you can switch that. If it contains paid product promotion, you can flip that on and off and disable monetization. That's how I'm going to set it. I'm going to go back now. You can also switch it from unlisted or private. Those are your, your two options here. I'm going to do this one public so it actually pings notifications on of subscribers and so you can see what the chat looks like on my end and everything. And then I am going to... Uh, give this a title. Now, one thing I saw a few people do that I thought was kind of cool as a way of like indicating to your viewers that this is going to go live is you go to the emojis and you go way over to the end and use the red ball that kind of looks like a um, like a record button right there, like right there. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back to ABC and go live. So this is all ready to go. Uh, next thing it's going to let me do, I'm going to hit next. And it's going to let me take a, 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 a thumbnail. So I am going to tap on retake right here and do it again. Hold it up like... Not a great one, but I'm gonna go for it, okay? Now, one thing I like to do here at this point before I actually go live, see the share button? Oh, by the way, you need to pick before you actually click go live, tap it here if you're going to live stream in portrait mode or in landscape mode, so sideways. Um, and, and so I'm picking landscape like every time. I think that's the natural way to see videos um, on YouTube, so I'm, I'm going landscape. But you can go click then share and this is where you can then copy the link. So let's say, um, you know, I want to I wanted to tweet this out before I, before I get started, post it to Facebook, email it, things like that. Uh, if you want to post it to your patrons, you can like tap that copy link right there and it's copy now. I could, I could minimize this, go to the Patreon app and post it there like, hey, I'm going live or you can tweet it, uh, do a lot of different things right there. So let me just like just show you guys. I clicked on Twitter. And uh, right before I go live here, it's going to pop open a little box here. Um, and I'm just going to hit post. There I went to Twitter. And then I'm going to tap go live. Here we go. 
So it's only gonna take a second or two. And it's gonna give me a little count. Oh, look, people are already here. <laughs> I haven't even gone live. Now it says I'm live, all right. Hey everybody, how are you going? Oh, there's the Y2. So if you have notifications enabled, the um that that's what you would see like like I do. So man, you guys are first. You guys are fast. I, I hadn't even like shown up live in this yet myself, and you guys were, were already here. So for, for you guys who are, who are watching this live, what I'm doing is I'm recording this live right now, so you're all gonna be in tomorrow's video. They're all gonna see you uh, in your chat, and that's just why I'm recording this, you can, and uh, I'm just kind of giving a quick overview of the app for people. So um, this is, uh, so, so that one right there is, look, I can, I can report that, remove it, put the user timeout, block, in um, this case, I'm blocking, you know? So you can moderate comments while you do this, which is great. Um, and if you if the chat starts going by too fast and you can't keep up with it, you can scroll back, see that, and catch up with stuff. And then you can tap that little blue arrow to go right back to where it started. The gear icon, Variety Girl 1, she's here. That means that she's a moderator on my channel, so she has access to do lots of moderation type of things of, of banning and um, and just helping keep the chat clean, everything like that, okay? So in the upper left corner, you can see it says live and it's red. If your connection starts to get weak or poor, that'll turn to yellow or red, or you'll have a red notification at the top if your connection starts to get poor here. Uh, and then also in the upper left, you can see that it shows how many people are live here right now. Hey, everyone. Hey, Creative Newborns. <laughs> hey, Toy Replay. So it said there's 60 people and 10 people have given a thumbs up. Now there's 63 people. Uh, let me give you a little overview of what's going on here at the bottom. So I can, in the bottom left here, flip my camera around. That's what my camera looks like. That's what I'm recording on right there. There's my screen. That's, uh, ooh, it's going to go. I'm, that's my screen capture right now. <laughs> So I'm gonna flip that back back around to me. Uh, right here is the chat controls. So you can see all of the chat. You can turn off the chat so you don't see it. Your um, the people that you are who are who are live streaming with you can still see it. But um, so I can put none right, and now it just shows me show chat. I can go back to that. Hey guys, yeah, this is fun. Glad you guys are enjoying this. Um, and then you can see just super chat. So there hasn't been any super chats right now. Um, otherwise they would show up right there. But if you wanted to see just super chats, you can filter those out. So those are, are the options now. Now they have this one feature. Hi Shannon. <laughs> they have this, uh, this one feature right here at the bottom, uh, where you can do different filters. I'm not sure who would want to use some of these. Uh, like the eight millimeter one or the documentary one. I don't know if you're really into that kind of thing. Yes, this is iOS. You could do that. I'm just going to go back to normal. Uh, there's a super chat. <laughs> hey toy. Oh, thank you, man. You're a patron too. It's good to see you. So let me show you guys now. Um, what happened? So he, he, he gave $2. If I go to super chat, you can see, oh, and Cody also. Thank you, Cody. You guys are so awesome. Thank you for helping me make this demonstration work. <laughs> um, so then I can uh, I can see just the super chats there, as you guys can see. I'll go back to all chat because I like all the people who are here. Uh, these three little dots over here. Um, this is if I want to share it again, like retweet it. I can go back to that and retweet it if I want to. Uh, I can mute my microphone completely, which is a really good option if you know, like something bad is going on or something or your kids come in and you're like, hold on a second, you gotta put it on, put it on, um, on mute or something. So that's what that is. And so that's everything that's going on here. And I'm gonna let you guys know because you're watching this live, I'll give you guys a little bit, um, this is for tomorrow's uh, video. Uh, a couple things I would recommend to answer some of your questions. I already, you guys are asking about the 10,000, why is it limited, I already answered that, so you have to watch the vlog tomorrow to get that. Um, but a couple other things, so revenue split. So the super chat, so, you know, we've got, we had a few super chats here from uh, a few people, Toy Replay and Cody Daniels. And so the, the revenue split for that in your contract when you enable super chat is a 70, it's a 70-30 split. 
it's by default. So if you are, um, you know, so if it's a dollar from like Cody, I got 70 cents, YouTube gets 30 cents, right? So that's what the revenue split is for that. And one thing that I thought was cool, an idea that some people, creators have been doing is if they are getting like a lot of super chats coming in, um, then what they've been doing, they're doing like a super chat commercial break and that's when they um, like they're doing their normal live stream and they're like, okay, now it's time for a for a super chat commercial break and they'll go through it and they'll just read all the comments from all of their super um, their super chat people. I, was, I thought it was like kind of a good solution for that. Another thing to keep in mind with these live streams is that it takes about 10 meg of data for every one minute of streaming that you do, okay? So if you're gonna be live streaming on your on your data plan, that's approximately what you can expect, about 10 meg for every minute. And also along with that, you can expect it to drain about 1% of battery life for every minute of live streaming also, which I think is a lot. So if, if, so if you live stream for 50 minutes, that's gonna be like, 50% of your battery life, you know, is, is going to be gone. So make sure you have a battery backup with you, something like that. Uh, a third thing is um, typically for live streams, I found that it's best. I got to switch arms. Sorry, you guys are getting tired. I don't have you up on the tripod. <laughs> um, that's why it's a little shaky too. Uh, is it's best to keep your live streams to about 20 minutes or less, um, and to keep them short, keep them punchy. Uh, you can go on for longer, but the reason I say 20 minutes or less is mostly for the replay value, so that when people come and watch your live stream. Um, you know, it's not like two hours, you know, that's great for like gaming, but if you're just doing like a quick mobile thing, if you want the replay value to be high, short, quick, punchy, kind of have like an agenda in your head going into it, what you want to do and be prepared to just kind of do that. And then, um, it, you know, so somewhere around that. And then the, and the last thing, number four, this is for you guys who are watching this right now. Also all 95 of you, um, is to, um, like the call to actions that you guys want to make in your, in your vlog, so how do people, how are your subscribers gonna get notified of these in the first place? You guys who are watching this, go ahead and um, comment with how you guys got notified about this, because I just did this spontaneously, no warning, nothing. So, um, so the, the primary ways that people are going to tap that bell icon, if you're on the app or on desktop, this is for you guys who are watching this right now, although you probably already have done that, push notification there, there you go. Um, on uh, below this video, if you're watching this later, is the replay. And this is why I encourage you guys to do like just I, w I think you should start your live streams by like hey we're getting ready to go live this is gonna be awesome to hang out with you by the way if you're not already subscribed to notifications this is how you do it you know tap the bell icon next to the subscribe button and enable notifications you can pick whether it's email or push notifications or both and then go into your content so that that's how you do it and that's how people get notified and that's how you're gonna get people showing up uh, for your live streams or if you want to control your own notification system like using a text messaging list you can I have one like that going on um, where it's you can text the word VC live to the number four three five zero six and I will send you guys a text message notification uh, when I go live and that is using a service called text signal txt signal.com not sponsored just letting you guys know that's who I use and I love them they're working great to end your live stream uh, I'm sorry guys I, I gotta demonstrate because I gotta show what happens afterwards sorry I wasn't planning on leaving but you gotta you gotta um, you, you tap this this finish button in the upper right corner and this is what happens see you guys bye yes do you sure end um, see it's playbacks um, how many people were watching at the peak time of the peak congruences is how many people were watching simultaneously max uh, I live streamed for nine minutes and 50 seconds I got no new subscribers during from this video during this time total watch time was 12 hours average watch time people stuck around for four two minutes and 14 seconds 333 playbacks that's different than view counts if someone refreshes a few times that's considered a playback so that's how it works. And now it will be processing here. Uh, I can do a few things with it if I want. I can delete it, I can edit it. Probably gonna edit this at this point and set it to unlisted, because I don't need this one to go out to subscribers necessarily. Click save, and now it will be set to be unlisted for, um, 
for people who still see my tweet and want to go check it out but not going out to subscribers. And I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. How are you going to use this feature with your audience? What types of ways are you planning on live streaming with them? I would love to hear your ideas and let me know how I should use this with you guys. I would love to hear your thoughts of how this could be most valuable for our little community here. And if this is your first time here at Video Creators, welcome. This channel is all about helping you guys grow your YouTube audience so that you can reach people, impact them with the message that you're spreading and change their lives. And thank you so much for letting me be a small part of that. Subscribe and I'll see you guys again next Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern time for another Video Creators video. See you then. Bye.